Last week, I made a video about five big trades that the New York Mets could make, and one of the guys was Trevor Story. Now, in that video, I said that that was the trade I liked the least because I did not love the potential fit of Trevor Story with the way the Mets were constructed at the time. Things have drastically changed following the Francisco Lindor injury, as now Trevor Story's primary position of shortstop is a much more pressing need than it was before. I will leave the link to that video in this description, but the main focus of today's video, as you can see from the title, from the thumbnail, I want to talk about Trevor's story and why he now is a much better fit with the New York Mets. If you like this video, breaking down a particular player in a hypothetical trade, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, what are your thoughts on Trevor Story or some of the other players I'm going to mention in this video that could also come along with him from the Colorado Rockies? And if you want to make my day better, you can always press subscribe. You can tell a friend, you can tell a stranger, you could make an account for your dog, have them subscribe. There's a lot of different ways to help me out. I would greatly appreciate it. So let's talk about Trevor Story. First, let's look at his basic stats, the old man stats, and his batting average 242 on base percentage of 315, 11 home runs. 43 RBIs, 17 stolen bases. Now, that probably is not going to translate to the Mets because the Mets don't send anybody. They never send VR. They don't send Lindor. They're very conservative. You can't score from third base unless it's a home run. I mean, that's just the kind of philosophy the Mets have, which I strongly disagree with, but that's the topic for another video. Now, so far, this has been a down year for Trevor Story because in the past, you look at 2018, 291 average, and 2019, 294, and 2020, 289. Then as far as his home runs are concerned, in 2018, 37 home runs, and 2019, 35 home runs. So this is a guy that has power, could hit for a high average, does have good speed, and he does have good range at shortstop. Now, as always, when it comes to acquiring any player from the Colorado Rockies, you always have to look at their home and away splits because of Coors Field with its very good elevation. Uh, analytics people may tell you all, but the spin rate of Coors Field, when you look at Trevor Story home and away this year, 293 average at home, 180 on the road. So that is a little bit of a red flag, but you hope that Trevor Story's talent could outweigh that. His power has been relatively the same home and away. Righties versus lefties, he's been relatively the same. He is right-handed, which would help the Mets because they are predominantly left-handed, but he doesn't necessarily excel or go to another level against left-handed pitching, which is an area that the Mets have struggled a lot with this season. Now, the other thing I always like to look at when it comes to a potential Mets target, especially this season, is how have they done with runners in scoring position this year? 279 batting average with runners in scoring position. Not amazing, but definitely better than some other members of the current New York Mets. Now, let's look at his baseball savant page full is xyz metrics and you know it's and nothing really jumps too much off the page i mean you would like the chase rate to be better you like the whiff rate to be better you really would like everything to be better but what he does have is that sprint speed at the 89 percentile so again he has a good amount of stolen bases is a guy that really could create some havoc at the top of the order if you actually send the guy and that good speed gives him good range which will help him fill in nicely for francisco Lindor, who has even better range than Trevor Story at shortstop. Now, my main problem with Trevor Story was when the Mets didn't have a need at shortstop, I said this is a guy that has not spent any time in the major leagues at third base. If you acquire Trevor Story and you have him playing shortstop while Lindor is out, in between time and practice before the game, you could have Trevor Story just take some grounders at third base, get some reps there, have some muscle memory build up, and just practice the throws across the diamond. This way, once Francisco Lindor has returned, the transition for Trevor Story to third base will not be as extreme. Now, Trevor Story is not the only guy the Mets should be targeting if they are to contact the Colorado Rockies. There are a couple of pitchers that really should be on the Mets' radar, especially following the Jacob DeGrom injury. Not only the DeGrom injury, but the fact that Jared Eikhoff is starting the first game in the Cincinnati Red Series and that Robert Stock is starting the second game. That's unacceptable. You need true major league pitchers out there. Now, the first guy is Herman Marquez, who I also mentioned in the last video. He has a 3.36 ERA this season. He made the all-star team. He is a pretty good pitcher. The other guy that the Mets could look at is John Gray, who has a 3.68 ERA this season. Either way, there is a very good opportunity to upgrade your starting rotation. Now, Trevor Story is on the last year of his deal. We are all aware of that. The pressure is on Colorado to deal him because he is most likely not going to resign there. So they have to get something for him. Trevor Story is also having a down year. That plays into your advantage when you're negotiating with Colorado. The Mets really have got to do something at the shortstop position because Francisco Lindor is a very valuable member to this team. I'm going to say something that I said yesterday in my live stream, but I feel like it's worth repeating because it needs to be said. I'm going to be frank about it. The people that had any kind of notion that because Francisco Lindor has not been hitting the way he is expected to, that losing him is not a big loss for the New York Mets is completely way off the mark. 
Lindor provides so much more to this team than what the stat sheet shows, what his batting average says, what his ex woba says, all this other garbage of stats and analytics and metrics. When Edwin Diaz and Seth Lugo were having their meltdowns against the Pittsburgh Pirates on Saturday, how much do you think it would have helped to have Francisco Lindor have a mound visit with those guys that he has done countless times in the season that has helped out a pitcher? Or on Sunday when Taiwan Walker was walking the opposing starting pitcher and arguing with the umpire, how much do you think would have had to help Francisco Lindor out there to calm Taiwan Walker down or maybe tell J.D. Davis to wake up and pick up the ball while Lindor covers third base? There's so much more that goes into a player on if they are effective and if they help you win or lose games than what shows up in the stat sheet. Francisco Lindor helps you win games, and that's the only stat that should and does matter. Regardless, it looks like the Mets are probably going to make a big move, whether it is Trevor Story or Chris Bryant or someone else. And hopefully they could once again try to tread more water while they have players injured again i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think of the potential of trevor story to the new york mets and until the next one be safe be smart be healthy and mets be healthy stop getting hurt fire the training staff and let's go mets